So Andy and Beth met many, many years ago while they were in high school, as did our parents even earlier on. And even though they you know, went their separate ways for a few years, they reconnected while Beth was in college at St. Rose in Albany and found out the real meaning of sometimes things happen for a reason. And when people come in back into your life and you reconnect, you hold on tight. And it's for a reason. Now, all relationships ebb and flow. Lord knows me and Beth know that. They've, you know, had their ups and downs as well, as everyone does. But they have created a beautiful family and a strong bond that will last forever. There are a lot of accomplishments in life one can choose to see. And Andy, being the greedy cousin that he is, he chooses to aim for all of them. Andy couldn't have stopped at being a good skateboarder. He just continued excelling in being a snowboarder, a rock climber, a cycler, a stripper, a boulder, a climber. But it doesn't stop there. Andy has also been a loyal friend, cousin, brother, and son. Now the cherry on the top of the Sunday, a loving father and husband. Friends and family, we are gathered together here in the presence of this company to join this man and this woman in the bonds of lawful matrimony. And when I think of the word blessings, I think of advice that I try to give young married couples. And it's a very simple advice. And it's really just four simple words. Count your blessings first. If you count your blessings first, you'll never have time to count your troubles.